Here's a 737 quirk you won't believe. Its thrust reversers can actually unlock while the jet is still airborne, as long as the radio altimeter reads 10 feet or lower. On most aircraft, thrust reversers are completely locked until the landing gear senses weight on wheels. That hard safeguard exists to prevent any possibility of deploying reverse thrust in mid-air, which would create massive drag and upset the aerodynamics. But the 737 takes a slightly different approach. Instead of waiting for a squat switch on the landing gear, Boeing tied its reverser logic to the radio altimeter, the device that measures true height above the ground. If the radio altimeter shows the jet is 10 feet or less above the surface, the system allows the reverser sleeves to unlock just before touchdown. Why? Because it saves fractions of a second during rollout. The idea is that by the time the wheels spin up, the reversers are already primed, ready to deploy instantly as the nose lowers and ground spoilers bite. It's a design aimed at efficiency, especially on short runways where every meter counts. But here's the catch. It technically means the reversers can begin to move while the aircraft is still in the air. If a pilot were to pull the levers at 10 feet, the doors could unlock just above the runway. In practice, crews avoid this. Standard operating procedures say to wait until firmly on the ground before committing to reverse thrust. The system is built with layers of logic to stop full deployment until rollout has started, but the unlock threshold remains one of those uniquely Boeing quirks. It's details like this that make the 737's design so distinct. The jet blends older mechanical logic with incremental safeguards, a philosophy different from Airbus, where reversers are strictly inhibited until ground contact. Both approaches work, but Boeing's system shows just how much design DNA comes from a world where milliseconds on rollout mattered. So what do you think? Should thrust reversers ever be able to unlock before the wheels are on the runway? Or should it always be ground only?